the difficult decision is which field to go on first. Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. I'm back on two fields, or I've got the choice of two fields for the first time since the harvest that had linseed on it. The previous crop to that was wheat, barley, and it had stubble. Looking at the ground now, after the linseed has been harvested, obviously they're wispy little things, so that's not gonna affect the uh, coil to ground height. There is some stubble left. Don't see it being a problem because it's, it's old and you should be able to knock it out of the way. The difficult decision is which field to go on first. I've got this field, which I call top field, and obviously, the bottom one down there. I'll have a think about it and we'll just crack on. Thanks for coming with me and we're just gonna get kitted up, get out there, and if I find anything, you are gonna be the first to know. Thanks again. Many thanks to you, yes, you, my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter. Much appreciated and your names will be scrolling from bottom to top at the end of the video. Thanks again, it's great to have you on board. Right, here we go. Thanks ever so much for your company. Uh, two choices. I've got this here field here, which I found silver and a Roman, and that field over there near the road, which I've just found general stuff, um, thimbles, various coins and stuff. The difference this time being its last crop was linseed, it's very wispy. Uh, the stalks so it should be no problem getting the coil down there are some still some remnants of the year previous year's harvest either wheat or barley but I, I don't see a, an issue with uh, getting the coil down so I'm going to crack on uh, eeny meeny miny mo. I'm going to go on that field I'm going to go on that field and I'm going to start at the footpath and just go up and down up and down and, and go to my left so we're going to crack on. Thanks for coming with us. And if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Okay, here we are on the edge, on the corner. I'm just going to go up and down. I've not done this particular half and just work across. I'm going to be using Gary's Ultimate. I've knocked the frequency down to 11.6 kilohertz and ground balance will be on tracking. Wish me luck and we'll see what we can find. Okay, I'll just dig this for hell of it. I've, uh, yeah, we'll just come from there to here. It's uh, there are signals about. This is a, a 47. Uh, looks to be like a button. It's the uh, front of a button, I think, which has popped off the, the back of it. So there you go. Could have been a coin, but it's a button. Yeah, just see what I'm up against. This is, if you can see it. That's linseed, and you can see the wispy little stems there, so that's not a problem. And this is the previous season's wheat or whatever. So getting to the ground after linseed is not an issue. There you go, that's a nice solid 49. Thought it was going to be good, but there you go, look. I have a handle. Probably a plate, it's got a stamp on the back, but I've got a handle on this one. I had a really good with 83 and uh, had to go quite deep for it. It's faint to start with, and they got layered obviously, but it's good pinpointed down and uh, nothing extraordinary, I'm afraid. But first coin of the day, I think it's just a penny. Just see NN for penny, I'm assuming it's a full penny. And if my spec savers eyes don't deceive me, it's something like 1887. So there you go, first going of the day. Alright, this is a 47. I think that's the, uh, <laughs> the brother of the first one I found. It's the front off a button again. Well, that's the sound of a 63. Ooh, hello, Mr. Spider. 
Oh, I missed a spider on me. Finger. Anyway, it's going to be a kind of button sort of day, I think. Button with, with the eye intact. Here we go, just a plain a button. Okay, well, um, as normal, not finding a heck of a lot, but you know, if you're new to detecting, you know, you just don't go into it thinking you're going to find gold and silver hammered every time you go out. That's not going to happen. And for majority of you, and me included, you're going to have days like this where you find naff all of any great finds, but just normal day-to-day -day stuff, coinage and, and buttons. So if you're coming into it expecting to find gold torques and silver hammered every time, then I think you're in the wrong hobby. <laughs> As I said, the stalks on the linseed are very wispy and the previous harvest of barley, wheat, whatever is just laying on the ground. So it's very good to get your coil down. You can get down to about an inch, inch and a half, two inches. So that's good. That's the sound of a, a very high 90, or not a 94. Wasn't going to dig it, I thought. Not finding a lot, so we'll have a laugh. And um, got this now. I don't know, but what do the rings what go through bulls' noses look like? Because that looks like a little swivel point here. It looks like another bit comes around there. I don't know. Could be miles off the mark, but anybody know? You just comment below, please. Right, it's a, a 64 in this bit here. This is what 64 on, have an email. <laughs> and I have an email on Gary's Ultimate. Right, that's 64 still. Uh, oh, I can see what it is now. Right, in the real world, you get a nice signal, you have to dig these. You always live in hope, <laughs> if you die in despair. Uh, old shotgun cartridge ends. Unfortunately, if you're new to detecting, you're going to have to get used to a lot of these. They sound right, the signal's right, the tone's right. Unfortunately, it's not what you want to find. I think this is going to be a lesson really in what to expect in normal day-to-day -day metal detecting. I'm about what it's like from day to day, metal detecting, no BS, and you do have days with rubbish in. But you do have good days, like the Saxon Penny, which, you know, makes the hobby great. So if you're thinking you're going to get hordes every time, probably take up knitting or a bit of crochet, because you get probably more, more out of that. Anyone for tennis? Like second hand ball, anybody's interested, just comment below. You have this here, there's a 79, just a bit of, well, I thought, a bit of shrapnel, well, not literally, but a bit of scrap metal. But it's got some detail on it. It looks like there's like segments, there's like a tree, a couple of trees. I don't know, just don't think it's anything to run to flow about, but just interesting really anybody know what it is please comment below but what I have in my hand is a nice sixty four now on the what I found on this field I wouldn't have put uh, much weight on what I found but I'm, I'm just coming off this field because you know it's a typical day you found rubbish lead buttons and stuff just heading over to the truck and this pops up um, I think it's hammered, certainly silver, it's very thin, looks like it's been bent, it's not a proper cut half, but looks like a shield with four segments and some writing around the edge, and on the other side, whew, it's difficult, looks like the base of a, a bust, I don't know, certainly got words or letters around it, so I think we're on the silver, so don't go out expecting to find hammered every time, but 
if you find a hammered it's always a bonus isn't it so i think that's a hammered well not 100 percent but it's good it's silver and i'll find it well you're not going to believe this folks i don't believe it i found that half of a hammered here and there i've got the exact same signal and blimey to hell I've got the other half I'll just give it a spritz okay that's that believe it or not I've just found the other half to that hammered I think it's hammered it's thin enough to be hammered about a foot away there it is this is the other half tell me that's not from the same coin unfortunately it's been caught with something and ripped which is a, a shame because the detail on it is fantastic i think it says i think it says 1580 at the top there with the shield there uh, it's a little rough around the edge we turn her over i would have to look into this what it is but it's got a crown unfortunately that lips under a bit there it is ladies and gentlemen i give to you one completish silver hammered right i was primarily going to make this video about new to detecting how you shouldn't expect much and i've just found the two halves of hammered and i've just got this i'm just following an old path line and well i'm not sure what it is i've cleaned it up it's pretty good it says Edward the Seventh, King Emperor. And there's a nice bust of him looking right. Goodness knows exactly what it is. Oh, it's got a shield. It's got 1908 or nine. I can't quite make it out. And I think it's a shilling. Can't see. I'll have to. Uh, a little get home but there we go look so don't expect to find much if you're new to detecting but you will find hammered and um edward seventh coins if they're there as you say or as they say you can only find it if it's there and it's a nice end to this adventure i was going to pack up i was heading towards a truck found a silver hammered spurred you on a bit and then got this uh I can't quite read it's something shilling i'm sure you lot are screaming at the screen saying it's i know what it is but i'm afraid i can't see what the one one twelfth one something of a shilling that's got on here well, I, I can't for life me make it out i think it says twelfth one twelfth a shilling Anybody simulator for? Never heard of one. One twelfth of a shilling. Well, what do you reckon about that then? I thought I was flogging a dead horse, and um, well, I was really, wasn't I? For the first bit. I purely done that video just to really to prove that just because you've got a metal detector, you're not going to find a lot of gold and hordes. Although you could, but the majority of us are just going to find everyday stuff like buttons and lead and little tiny buckles and stuff so i was pretty pleased at the end of the day it was literally on the return to the truck to wrap up i just thought well i've had enough it's going to be another video of finding rubbish and there you go hammered 1580 i think that's lizzie the first to find a half which was not a cut half and then to find the second half about 10 inches away i think is really really lucky or i don't know so perhaps the gods of my permissions have come back to me that's a forgive me for finding the saxon king canute penny but there you go thanks for joining me i'll just show you my haul which obviously will consist of the hammered and the one twelfth of a shilling never heard of it but I think it's State of Jersey, so it's a Jersey coin, 1909. Anywho, 
Thanks for coming with me. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future videos and the Wednesday live stream. I'm speechless, really speechless. So I'm going to wrap it up. See you next time. Here are my finds.